what's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab with Beak and Lulu. The gang is all here. And guys, we're a little late to the party today. You know, you know how it is. Sometimes you're a little late, but guys, we're here and we're going to be using the all new troop that's coming to the game, the Super Giant. I can't believe this thing, dude. I think this is actually the one I like the best so far. Guys, all week we've been doing these super troops, right? And they're cool in their own way. They're different. They're very different. I love that. that the, the class is trying something new here. But I think this one, if I had to guess one that I would actually use on the regular, I think this might be it, dude. I, I got to show you guys because the stats you're going to sort of see on these on these super giants. They're basically a double giant with like a cool ability. So, hey, hang on. But before we check these out even more, guys, look look, look, at the, look at the toes. Look at the detail on those toes. I mean, it's, it's really freaking me out, but, you know, you got to respect the detail. All right, guys, let's go over here. And uh, do, do normal giants have that detailed toes? I mean, maybe it's just because these guys are bigger. I don't know what it is, man. It's freaking me out. They look weird. Anyway, guys, let's go over here. Dang, man, I feel like I just woke up and it is wicked bright in here because, like, it is the morning and the sun is, like, blasting in the window over there. Why don't we check out the stats real quick? Oh, before we go, deals increased damage to walls. Dude, I think that's the best one so far. That is an ability that is going to work for you 24-7. As long as you got giants on the field, they're going to be hitting walls. They, they do that all the time. That's like what they do because they try to get to defenses. So they're always busting walls. And guys, I think that's going to be the best one. Dude, 130 damage per second. 4,000 hit points. You can't get away from that. 4,000 hit points? Are you kidding? What is an ice golem? I don't even think an ice golem is that. It's not, is it? Frosty boy, what are you? That's unreal. And obviously the ice golem is a bad example because the ice golem has its own ability in a sense. Like it does, it drops a free spell when it dies, but the giant has an ability too. And honestly, I think it might be even more useful than that. It's tough to say. I mean, each each case is different. Okay, so the first thing we should do is go into this try mode. Uh, this, this is kind of cool. I wish we had some heroes though. Cause like just giants, <laughs> what's up with that? Okay, cool. Well, this will be a good way to see what they do against walls. Let me do, uh, Nah, I guess we didn't even need the rage, but you get the point. Uh, boom, boom. Oh my goodness, they're so crazy on walls. I mean, that was in a rage ball, so they were what, doing like double time? And they're probably, I mean, it's kind of weird that it didn't say how much extra damage they do against walls, but it's probably like, what do you think, double? Oh crap, they're gonna go in there. I wanna see you break walls, guys. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hey, you stop, chill. Okay, so when they're not in a rage belt, it's definitely nowhere near what it is in a rage. But, I mean, it's still something. When you got a bunch of them, and that is the thing, like how many of these things are you gonna have? Six, maybe six, uh, eight at the most. I, I don't think you have much more than eight because I mean, that's 80 troop spaces, but still guys, I, I do think this is gonna be awesome. So let's go up here against some, some serious defenses. Let me see. Let's just drop them in like, <laughs> you know, we got a bunch of heal spells. We'll do a rage over there. Heal over there. Yeah, man, I think these things are gonna just beast through bases. And I think they're gonna bring back giants in a good way because guys, giants have, I think, you know what I think happened? I honestly think people stopped using giants when the ice golem came out, right? Does anybody else remember that? I mean, it, it feels like it was a long time ago. I don't think it was, but the ice golem came out and it was so good. It, it is still good. It's awesome. And you know, people don't use it as much right now. I think yetis have sort of taken over, but this could be really easy to use and just helpful because like it's a double giant. It's a little harder to kill and it does extra damage against walls. Hey. Cool. Hey, can we can we see you go up against the town hall? No, dude, I, my eyes feel like they are asleep still. Hey, I wish they could fight back against that queen. That'd be really cool because they're never going to because they still have to kill the, the town hall before they would do that. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. That's so funny that that level one queen is like doing nothing. Ah, I finally killed one. Cool. All right, guys, this is a good example. Let's see if they can get through that wall. Oh, my God. How many giants was that though? That was like eight of them. Oh, that was a lot of them though. It's hard to tell. Okay, so basically guys, I think we can confidently say if you have like eight or 10 of these, you're gonna bust some walls. You're, you're seriously gonna break some walls. And so what if you have, I mean, there's so many cool things you could do, man. I, I think this is really cool. All right. All right, guys, so why don't we hit up ourselves here? Uh, by the way, we're in my friend's clan, Judo. My code is not Judo. My code is up there, Beak. But you can also use Judo. I mean, dude, I wish you could choose two 
you know? I mean, I guess if you have different games, you different Supercell games, you can use these codes in any game, but yeah, I wish you could do two creators because who just watches one? I mean, I, maybe some people do, but I don't. But either way, guys, let's go. Why don't we get in here? I wanted to do kind of a race with the, with the ground siege and the giants. I mean, there's nothing in it, it's fine. But um, I guess I'll just go like over here, boom. Wall record, do your thing. And then I guess we could do the giants on another side. Yeah, I mean, it's never gonna work, but we'll try. Okay, so the wall wrecker is good at walls. I mean, it it's its job, but it gets through with three hits. And a wall wrecker, I guess you could think about a wall wrecker. How many housing spaces is a wall wrecker? Technically, I think it's like, it's a lot. And so I think like five or six of these giants is gonna be just as good as a wall wrecker. I mean, especially when they're in a rage bell. We'll see. Okay, so we gotta clear some stuff here. Let me drop the queen over here. King over there. Make sure we got some a, a clear shot here. No defenses sitting on the outside. Okay, that should be good. Cool. Boom. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. I hope there's not a spring trap right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, we'll drop this too. Yes. Oh man, look at him just shredding walls. They're they're done. They're done. They like pick up their hand and then it's done. All right, but in this case, guys, of course, we have way too many of these things. This is never gonna be like a real thing. You're never gonna have, what was? What do we have, like 30 of these? So yeah, but seriously, I think these got some, they got some definite possibilities. I mean, maybe you are gonna go crazy with these things and use like 10 of them, 15 of them. I mean, that's like over half of your army, but, oh crap, I forgot to heal them. <laughs> They're still going though, look at them. Oh, that one hurt, that one hurt. Double heal, double heal. Hey, you stop. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done here. We'll see, we'll see. So wait, where are those barbs come from? Yeah, they're dead now, cool. So anyway, guys, you can see they just crush walls and I think that's gonna be a big help. I do wanna do it with like a real army, but we're not gonna do that today. Today is all about just like messing around with, with these things. So I think normally you're gonna, you're gonna mix these with like, you know, you know what was really cool for a while? People were really into giants uh, and bowlers and sometimes witches, you know, uh, mixing them all together. And I think that could definitely come back with this. I mean, these giants could be way tankier than normal giants. They're gonna help you with walls. This could be really good, dude. Oh man, I got a good idea. So you guys remember this one? Okay, this is the one that has so many walls and so many spring traps. We should hit this one up. Dude, cause there's so many walls. I mean, if we can get through this, uh, it's it's gonna be a good sign of what these things can do. All right, let's go. So first things first, I think we should drop uh, the king maybe to get uh, yeah, we'll drop the king. I, I want to get some of these traps taken out. So, boom. Cool. We didn't hit any of the traps. They're all over here. Ah, oh, that's going to hurt so much. So that's a good, like, reason to, to maybe not use these. Because, like, if one spring trap hits one of these, that's devastating. That's a devastating amount of troops you're going to lose. I just lost my king, speaking of lose. Anyway, uh, we'll drop all these guys. Boom. Heal spell. Rage spell. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. Get in there. All right, this is going to be cool. So we got a bunch more spells, and we also got the, the Warden ability. That's definitely going to help. Uh, let's see. I'd like to use it with a Rage Ball, though. Dude, look at them just knock down the walls. <laughs> I think normal giants in this, you know, with this many normal giants, we'd probably be fine, too. But still, it's kind of cool to see these guys. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is wild. So guys, look at uh, the wall wrecker, it's empty, but you know, again, even with these walls, it takes two hits, two hits. That's, I think that's gonna be more than like six of these guys, seven, eight of these guys, for sure. And and the wall wrecker, that's what it's born to do. So anyway, we did it, dude. I can't believe we just did this. I can't believe we just did this. <laughs> Man, this reminds me of like back in the day, I used to watch, um, before I started doing YouTube, I used to watch Chief Pat do the tutorials on these single player maps. And he would he would come up with armies like this, like drop 40 giants right here, drop a rage spell right here and you'll get it. <laughs> That's what that one kind of felt like. Shouts to Chief Pat, my dude. Anyway guys, uh, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. There's not that much more we can do with these. I mean, we can keep doing this, which was super fun. You know what would be cool? This giant healer. When's the last time you did giant healer? 
saying? That'd be awesome. All right, guys. Anyway, that is it for today. We got to get out of here. But thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu and all that good stuff. We will see you guys right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab. I don't know what we're going to be doing, but dude, these sneak peeks have been pretty interesting. And I hope we have some more good ones, guys. So we will see you right here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Peace, gang. Thank you.